Hi, my name is Doug. And I'm Tika. And Doug, today we're actually going to talk about something that you have. Something I have? What is that? Well, you're always so happy and laughing and <laughs> joyful. See, where does that come from? So, honestly, I've always been a happy guy, but honestly, ever since I pursued a relationship with Jesus, I've been more of a joyful person knowing that He has my back on a regular basis and all I need to do is just focus on the relationship I have with Him. And that's honestly what makes me joyful every day, believe it or not. That's amazing. And the big idea for today is joy comes from a thankful heart. Let's watch this God story now. What do you call two jellyfish that look the same? Identical. Hey, I'm Michaela. It's nice to see you again. So a few years ago, I got this really nice camera for Christmas. I had kind of told my mom and dad that it would be really nice to have one, but I never thought they would actually get me one. So when I pulled it out of the box, I was so full of joy and surprise, I couldn't stop thanking my parents. Last week, we talked about the fruits of the Spirit and how the Holy Spirit works within us to produce those fruits. Do you remember what they are? They're love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And so today, we are going to be talking about joy, which brings me to the big idea, which is joy comes from a thankful heart. So today, we are going to be diving into the book of Psalms, which is found in the Old Testament. The book of Psalms is written by a guy named David. You know David, David and Goliath, the king of Israel. He is also related to Jesus, so he's a really important guy. The Book of Psalms is a bunch of poetry and songs put together. David is known for writing these incredibly beautiful songs. Some of them are about suffering and feeling abandoned, while others are praises to God. So we're going to be looking at Psalm 100. Now, we're not 100% sure if David wrote this, but we have a pretty good idea that it was him. This Psalm is a praise of joy. David is dancing, he's singing, he's thanking God for all that he has done. Shout to the Lord with joy, everyone on earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come to him with songs of joy. When was the last time you were thankful to God? I mean, like, really thankful. I know sometimes I think I have homework, but then I realize I don't, and I go, thank God. But what about the thankfulness that we read in the Psalm? I want to have that thankfulness. Now let's look at Psalm 100, verse three to four. I want you to realize that the Lord is God. He made us and we belong to him. We are his people. We are the sheep belonging to his flock. Give thanks as you enter the gates of his temple. Give praise as you enter its courtyards. Give thanks to him and praise his name. He made us and we belong to him. It's really weird to think about it, but if it wasn't for God, we wouldn't be here. God made us in his image and I am so thankful for that. Let's keep reading. The Lord is good. His faithful love continues forever. It will last for all time to come. Have you ever been thankful that you are loved? Love is this warm feeling. It fills you up. It makes you happy and joyful. And when you wake up in the morning and you're happy to see your parents, that's love. When your friends invite you out and they're happy to see you, that's love. When your dog or cat runs over to you and starts licking you, that's love. Love is everywhere and it's so wonderful. So let's thank the Lord for love. Let's be joyous and remember just how much God loves us. Let's spread love everywhere, like sneezing joy and happiness and love everywhere. And here's the cool thing. When we focus in on what is good and happy in our lives, all of the bad stuff just falls away. And when we are connected with God, we are filled with so much joy and thankfulness that we just spread it everywhere. So let's be thankful to God, because look at all that he has done. We have so much to be thankful for. And that brings me to today's big idea, which is joy comes from a thankful heart. Well, that's it for me this week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Turn to the person next to you and discuss the following question. Question time. The book of, in the Bible, is full of prayers and songs. Some of them thank God and are joyful. Leviticus, Numbers, Proverbs, or Psalms. 
Psalms. Turn to the person beside you and tell them one thing you are thankful to God for. situation. How many times can you say the key verse before things get sticky? Say it with me. The Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Galatians 5 verse 22 to 23. Get ready. Three, two, one, go! So cool. And just knowing that God made us for a reason, we're not here by mistake. He actually loves us and wants us here. That on its own is a reason to live a thankful life. Yep. And on that note, our friend Helen Marie met up with a couple of young friends who decided to write thank you notes to a couple of people who play significant roles in their lives. Let's join in on the fun. Hi, I'm Helen Marie, and a couple of friends and I have decided to get together to talk about the things and people we're so grateful for. Let's go find them. The three things I'm grateful for are campfires, striped socks, and frogs. So we're here today to show our gratitude to some really special people by writing thank you notes to them and going to share them with you. Audrey, what did you bring today? Yeah, and um, this is a musical staff for my music teacher. She pushes me to do my best and she always motivates me and tells me to never give up. Amazing, thank you. Alexia, may I see what you have there? Well, I have this amazing friend, Maylee, and she painted me this awesome quote on this paper. And yeah, I just feel like we don't see each other very much anymore, so it meant a lot to me for her to write that for me. That's really sweet, thank you for sharing. So we have some colorful paper and a lot of markers. Go crazy! This is my thank you letter. Thank you for never giving up on me. You pushed me to do amazing things. Thank you for telling me to never stop trying. Thank you, Miss Noonan. This is a special thank you drawing I did for Andrea, one of my most amazing friends of all time. I decided to do this for her because she is caring, amazing, different, genius, passionate. She's a cat lover, she's unique, and she's thoughtful. Thank you for being such a great friend, Andrea. their chats to say their thank yous and now the gentleman. Calder, would you like to start? What you got there? I have a stop sign and it's for my crossing guard, Bonnie. She helps me walk to school every day. Cool, thank you. Josh? Uh, this is a picture of my grandma. Unfortunately, she passed away in August, but I feel like she's still present in me and she was an amazing person that taught me an amazing to do amazing good things and she brought me closer to Jesus and she gave me this pendant and I bring, I bring it with me everywhere and I wear it every day to remind me that she's still with me and that the Lord's with me everywhere so yeah it was pretty cool. Sweet, thank you for sharing that. All right Ryan, your turn. I brought a soccer ball and a picture of my brother. Um, my brother loves sports and loves um, school as well and he strives very hard to be good at what he does and um, 
So I just uh, look up to him a lot and want to be a lot like him because he's very successful and he just shows me the path. Cool. Awesome, thanks guys. So we have some paper and some pens for you to write your appreciation notes on. So knock yourself out. Thank you note to Bonnie. Thank you, Bonnie, because you help me walk to school every day. She's never missed a day of work. She remembers everyone's name. Every morning she says, have a good morning. Thank you, Bonnie. Now this is my thank you note for my grandma. Thanks for being such an inspiration and teaching me many things. Your advice for me to follow Jesus was amazing and has helped me through many tough times. Thanks for always being there and such an outgoing, funny grandma. This is a thank you note from my brother, Adam. Thank you, Adam. Adam, thank you for being an amazing brother. You strive a lot and show me the right paths to follow. You are very successful and you're awesome. I really love the thank yous that Helen Marie and her friends wrote. There was one with a cat eye sketch. That was so cool. She's honestly such an amazing person. It's really inspiring to see how much of a joyful life she lives. It makes you learn so much, right? And it actually makes me want to go and thank the people that I love and appreciate. You know what? That's a great idea. So you know what I'm going to do today? When I get home, I'm going to thank my mom. Aww. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get into our small groups and see how this looks in our lives. <laughs> 